Hello yogis, welcome to today's practice. Today, driveway practice, focusing on strength, on flexibility. But before we start flowing, so important, you come into your practice today, what I like to call a beginner's mind. Let go of the judgment, every judgment, the way you think your body should act, the way you think you should feel inside your head, and try and focus on the breath. I say this before every class, the breath, the most important, Part of our practice here today. With the breath, we find awareness in the present moment. When we move with our breath in our vinyasa practice, we cultivate this internal awareness. And this awareness, I like to imagine, is kind of linked to this divine self that we have within. So every time we move with our breath, we're kind of tapping into this abundance of knowledge out here in the universe. Feel free, always take it a level above or below. We're going to do multi-levels here, so we'll get into some binds, arm balances, handstand. And I really hope you enjoy the practice. And let's start today, Varasana, Hero's Pose. Resting back on the heels, palms facing down on the thighs, and we close our eyes for a moment. Maybe do a couple nice little shoulder rolls. We relax the shoulders down the back. We take a moment here. As you can tell, we're outside. Nature, sounds, wind, it's around us. It's always an alternate option to dive a little deeper, to bring our awareness inside. With your eyes closed right now, try and let go any thoughts running through your head. You don't need to make the mind empty, but we want to do the best we can to not grasp onto those thoughts. Let them float by. One of the easiest ways is to notice what's going on inside the body. Noticing feelings, sensations here today. We notice physical sensations, sensations inside our body, maybe the way the body touches the mat, the way the skin feels. Let's bring our palms to center. Let them kiss Anjali Mudra. Set an intention, dedication here today's practice. This can be a simple thought. It could be a feeling. Our intention, it's so important. Our intention, it turns this practice into something a little more than a physical exercise. It also serves as a root, as an anchor down. Our mind, it's going to wander. Bring it back to this intention here today. Thinking hard about that intention. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth. Releasing it out into the universe. Sealing our lips, starting up our ujjayi, slight constriction of the back of the throat. Every inhale, every exhale, beautiful audible wave sound of a breath entering and leaving the body. And we keep this breath through our entire practice here today. Fluttering the eyes open. Rolling over the hands and the knees, coming into a nice neutral tabletop position. Spreading the fingers, really gripping the mat down, knees right underneath the hips. As you grip down into the mat, can you take your inner biceps, gently roll them forward. This helps our shoulders come down the back. With an inhale, we drop the belly, we lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to the belly. 
inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to the belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze, lift, taking the next few now, your own pace. Letting that breath start the movement. We pay close attention to that breath and movement. We link it together. This forms that awareness, that awareness right here and right now, exactly where we need to be. Next time you return to that belly dropped, gaze lifted position, tuck the toes under. Float the shins, the knees up, hips up and back, first downward facing dog. First downward dog. It's so nice we invite a little movement into the sasana, wagging the hips, pedaling out the feet. We keep the palms right in line with the shoulders. Fingers nice and wide. Grip the mat. Really connect down. Try and alleviate pressure on the crease of the wrist by rooting the knuckles down. Slowly extending right heel a little further down. Left heel extends a little further down as we come into a moment of stillness here. Hips up and back, thighs engage, reaching through the knuckles. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands, sinking the hips back for a moment, lengthening through the palms. Walking the feet right behind the hands, maybe the big toes kiss. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine, lengthen the body, fingertips to the earth, maybe our shins. Exhale, forward fold, rooting through the feet. Inhale, rise vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly coming up, pressing into the feet, keeping the thighs engaged. We get to the top, arms reach up overhead, we watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Inhale, arms reach up, watch those palms kiss, lengthen through the hand. Exhale, folding at the hip, uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward, then down. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine, thighs are strong. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, holding a nice first plank. Belly tucks in, palms right underneath the shoulders. Really grip the mat with the fingers. We want to always connect down into the earth. That's our stability, just like a house. That forms our foundation, our root. Thighs are strong. Really engage the top of the legs, almost feeling like the backs feel like they want to lift up towards the sky. As you press down through the palms, maybe the back of the heart lifts a little higher. Very nice. Inhale, shifting forward on the tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana, shoulders in line with the elbows, tops of the feet go down, arms extend up dog, shoulders stack over the wrist. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Five nice long breaths. Reaching through the fingers. Connecting down, thighs are strong, kneecaps are lifted. Where's your breath? Always connect down into the earth. You form that foundation, you form the rooting, and then you use the breath. You guide the body right into the most optimal position here today. Bending the knees gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, thighs are strong. Exhale, forward fold. Rooting through the feet. Inhale, rising a little faster now. Arms reach up overhead. Watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Time to flow that sequence, breath to movement. Surya Namaskar A, saluting the sun. Inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss, extending through the spine. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening our spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Inhale, up dog. Press through hands and feet, thighs lift. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, root through the feet, inhale, rise up. Maybe tiny back bend at the top as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold, lead with the heart. Exhale, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet, heart open. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, press through those feet, inhale, rise up. Lengthen through the body, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Bending the knees, ukatasana, chair pose. First, check the toes. Foundation first, what's touching the mat? Can we see the toes past the knees? If not, shins, hips a little further back. Lift the toes for a moment. Find four corner connection, and we can bring the toes down. Thighs stay strong, belly tucks in. Arms are reaching up, pinkies wrap forward, shoulders down the back. This is a little too much on our shoulders at the moment. We can lengthen the arms out to the front. We want a nice straight spine. We want to feel the earth beneath the feet. Can you imagine that breath coming in through the nose, down through the body, right into our toes? Inhale, sit a little deeper. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Rotating our left foot 45 degrees. Stepping the right foot right up by that right thumb. Knees over the ankle in the front and with an inhale we rise. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Inner thighs squeeze together, front knee right over that ankle. Taking our right hand to our left hip, just pull it back. Make sure both your hip bones face forward. Arms come up, shoulders down the back. That back leg is strong. Try and root down through the pinky edge. Really feel that stretch through the leg as you extend down. Very nice. One more breath here. Exhale, hands coming down, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot spins 45, left foot steps right up by that left thumb, knee over the ankle in the front. Inhale, you rise. Yira Bhadrasana 1, opposite side. Root down through the four corners of that front foot, knee over the ankle. Left hand down to the left hip, pull it back. Make sure both those hip bones facing forward. Arms come up, shoulders down the back. Where's your breath? Where's your mind? Is it focused on that breath? Is it focusing on the sensations right now inside our body? One more, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Holding here, five nice long breaths. Reaching that tailbone up towards the sky. Rooting through the knuckles, find length through the arms, through the shoulders. As we gaze towards the heels, if you can see those heels, slight internal rotation of the legs, the heels should hide right behind our calves. 
Every breath has a subtle movement. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Sitting down in our chair, finding length through the body as we sit. We root down, lifting up from the hips through the spine, reaching through the crown of the head. Very nice. Thighs are engaged. Inhale, let's sit a little deeper. Exhale, come to stand. Samastitihi. Time to flow that sequence. Breath to movement. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, thighs are lifted, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot to the right hand, warrior one. Single inhale, rise up, follow the breath all the way up till the palms kiss. Exhale, ride it down, Chaturanga Dandasana, follow that single exhale down. Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Left foot, left hand, warrior one. Single breath in, try and rise, lengthening the breath up till the palms kiss. Exhale, ride it down. Follow that single exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands. Step, jump, float, walk our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Exhale, come to stand. Samastitihi. One more round, just like that. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, reach the heart forward and through. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot, right hand, warrior one, Vira Bhadrasana one. Inner thighs squeeze, find roots down and through the feet. Exhale, ride it down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Very nice with the breath. Inhale up dog. Exhale over the toes, down dog. Last one, left foot, left hand, warrior one. Vira Bhadrasana, feel the earth, find length through the body up till the palms kiss. Exhale, ride it down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. And we hold five nice long breaths. Thighs are engaged. Try and use that breath. Use it to calm the body here. The breath, when we can keep it still, we can keep our body, our mind in peace. As we root through those knuckles, lift up through the hips, tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Flexing the toes, pointing that foot the best we can towards the earth. Back leg strong and engaged. We're rooting down through the hands, finding balance between the palms and that back foot. More important to have our hips nice and straight than it is to lift the leg up high. Inhale, lifting that right leg a little higher from the inner thigh. Exhale, shift forward, high plank, right knee to the left tricep, crossing the body. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward, right knee, left tricep, hugging that knee into the chest. Inhale, up and back. 
Exhale, shifting forward, right knee, left tricep, and we hold, hug that knee into the armpit. Can you squeeze the core? Extend the leg out to the side, floating it off the earth for a moment, bringing it down, back foot goes down. Inhale, hips lift up, left arm to the sky, fallen star. Breathing deep, root down through that right arm. Find length through the body as you lift the hips towards the sky. Big breath here, fill the body. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right knee hugs right into that right armpit. And we roll on the outside of the left foot. Right foot comes on the inner thigh for our Vashistasana, tree edition. Lifting up, side plank. We could always bring the foot down. We could always stagger the feet or bring the bottom knee down. It's your choice. Listen to the body today. Lifting up through the hips. Find length through the body. Inhale, floating that top leg gently off the bottom. Exhale, stepping a foot behind you and then lifting the heart forward, reaching that right arm as we come into our wild thing pose. Lengthening through the body out through the fingers. Long, smooth breath here. Root through those feet. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, rolling over the left arm. High plank, belly tucks in. Very good, big breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Three nice long breaths. Where's our body? Can we feel the sensations? Bring your mind into any feelings right now, physical sensations that are inside the body. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Toes flexing, pointing down towards the earth, right leg strong and engaged. Trying to wrap that pinky edge the best we can, facing the earth. Very nice. Inhale, a little higher from the inner thigh. Exhale, shift forward, left knee, right tricep, cross the body. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, shifting forward, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, and we hold. Hug that knee a little closer to the armpit. Very good. Extend the leg out, float it off the earth. Bringing that foot down, back foot goes down. Hips lift up, fallen star. Lifting, extending through the body. Breathing deep, rooting down through that bottom hand. Very nice. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, top hand comes down. Left knee hugs into that right armpit. We roll on the outside of the right foot, bringing that left foot inside the thigh for our Vashistasana tree pose. Side plank here. Remember, take whatever option in your practice. Keep the awareness down into that hand, into that foot. Strong core. Very good. Inhale, hips a little higher. Top leg floats. We step right behind us for our wild thing pose. Reaching that heart forward. Lengthening through the body. Almost making a nice little back bend here. Very good. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, rolling over that bottom hand. Nice high plank. Belly tucks in, strong breath in. Exhale, shift forward, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Press through hands and feet. Exhale, over the toes. Downward facing dog. 
Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps right in between the hands. Back foot goes down 90 degrees. Front knees right over that ankle. Inhale, you rise. Warrior two. Virabhadrasana Bhadrasana two. Front knee right over that ankle. Beautiful line from the heel in the front to the arch in the back. As you extend the arms at a T, gaze over that front middle finger, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Very nice. Always finding strength, comfort, every pose. Finding strength through the feet. That foundation belly tucks in nice and strong. Very nice. Big breath in. Exhale, shift forward. Hover over that front thigh. Front arm bends, rest on the thigh. Back arm up to the sky. Parjva Konasana. Side angle pose. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we can bring the hand inside or outside the front foot. Option three, you can take that bottom arm underneath the thigh, top arm wraps around for the bind. Shoulder goes back, find length through the spine, opening the heart, rooting through the feet. Breath stays long and smooth. Very good. One more. Inhale, exhale, releasing that bind, riding up, warrior two. Front leg straightens, front foot faces over to the left, feet are parallel, arms to a T, inhale, heart and gaze lift. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, Prasarita pose. We want equal pressure on the inside and outside of the feet, so squeeze the hips, the thighs in towards each other. The tips of the fingers should be right in line with the toes and bringing our elbows parallel to each other. Crown of the head relaxes down. Maybe it feels like we're shifting a little more weight to the balls of our feet, so the hips come right in line with the ankle. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Straight spine. Hands to our hips. Inhale. Rising all the way up. Very good. Taking that front foot, pointing those toes right out to the front. Maybe stepping that back foot just a half a step forward, lengthening or shortening our stance. Inhale. Arms to a T. Exhale, shifting forward, reach the hand so you can't reach anymore. Front hand comes down to the shin or earth, back arm up to the sky. Trikonasana triangle pose. Breathing deep. We're trying to lengthen both sides of our body. If we feel like we're crunching down one side, we could lift it slightly, it's okay. Keeping those shoulders stacking. Imagine you're Resting them on a wall behind you. Every breath, imagine that front big toe rooting down, pinky in the back as you keep the thighs strong. One more breath here. Exhale, right knee bends. Gaze down to the right foot. Right hand a foot in front of the toes, left hand down to the hip. Weight shifts forward. We float the back leg up. Hip stacks as we come into our Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. Once we find a balance, we can reach that top arm up towards the sky. Remember, if we topple, it's okay. We're having fun. Can we bring a smile to our face? Can we keep that belly nice and strong, bottom leg engaged? That's your root, that's your anchor. Very nice. One more breath here. Exhale, top hand comes down, back leg stays lifted, little standing splits, lifting from the inner thigh. Maybe we stay here, standing splits. Always an option to invite a little arm balance, maybe a little handstand into our practice. Rooting down through the palms, maybe we kick the feet up and we find balance. And we always want to keep the belly strong. 
reaching through the shoulders up to the toes always gaining length very good taking one more inhale exhale both feet to the earth forward fold inhale halfway lift nice long spine Exhale, planting the hands, stepping it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the chest. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Three nice long breaths here. Bringing the body back into a little stillness. Keeping those thighs strong, hips lifting up and back. Very good. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands, back foot down, 90 degrees. Inhale, we rise. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Front knee over the ankle, and we want a nice little external rotation of that front thigh. Trying to point that front knee right over those two little middle toes. Arms are at a T, we relax the shoulders down. Belly tucks in. Relaxing the muscles in the face, releasing tension around the eyes. One more breath in. Exhale, shifting forward, hover over the thigh, front arm bends, rest on the thigh, back arm up to the sky. Option one, we stayed here. Option two, hand inside or outside the front foot. Third option, we reach that bottom hand under the thigh, clasping the hands. Parjva Kanasana, side angle pose. Breathing deep. Feel the pinky in that back foot connecting down. Feel the heart as it opens to the side. Very nice. One more breath here. Exhale, release, and we rise up, warrior two. Front leg lengthens, front foot faces over to the right. This time we clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, shoulders roll back, heart and gaze lift. Exhale, folding at the hip. Crown of the head reaches forward, knuckles up and over. Prasarita, C. Relaxing the shoulders. Keep the legs strong. Find nice pressure between all four corners of the foot. Very nice. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, halfway lift, long spine. Hands to our hips, inhale, rising all the way up. Front foot faces forward. Leg stays nice and long. Maybe we hop that back foot half a step forward, length shortening our stance. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, shift forward. Reach till we can't anymore. Front hand down. Shin or earth. Back arm up. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Wherever we are, we try not to stare into the sun. Just kidding. Lengthen that body. Breathe down. Root through that back leg. Feel the front muscles engage in that thigh. Where's the breath? One more. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee bends. Gaze down to the left foot. Left hand. Foot in front of those toes. Weight shifts forward. As we come up, our Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon pose. Back leg is strong. Top arm reaching up as we open the heart. Rooting down through that bottom foot. Remember, that's your root. That is where we find the balance. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, top hand comes down. Keeping that back leg lifted. Standing splits, lifting up from the inner thigh. We could stay here, maybe we invite 
little handstand into our practice. Trying to find balance by rooting through the palms. Belly tucks in. Strength throughout the body. Always finding a drishti, a point of focus. Here maybe right in between the thumbs. Very good. One more breath here. Exhale, floating the feet down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, planting the hands, stepping back, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Holding here, three nice long breaths. Hips up and back, thighs engage, lengthen through the fingers. Lowering the knees, bringing the big toes to kiss, feet out to either side. We're extending them out to the front, coming into a seated posture. Maybe we take a little bum out from either side. This really helps root the body, the hips down. Palms in line with the hips, shoulders broad, front toes flex back to the face. This is called Dandasana Staff Pose. As we engage the legs, try and press the heels all the way through the legs into the hips down into the mat. But keep little to no pressure in the hands. Belly tucks in, spine stays long and strong. Very good. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head, reaching forward. Front toes stay flexed back. We want to try and lengthen the spine. Gazing towards the feet helps. This is called Pada Drishti. We keep those thighs engaged, and remember, there's no judgment. It doesn't matter if you reach the toes, ankles, shins, knees, or thighs. Yoga is not about how far we reach. It's about watching and observing the sensations inside our body. One more breath in. Exhale, rising, nice straight spine. Bending the right knee, bring it out to the side. Right sole of the foot inside the left thigh. Front toes flex back. Bring the torso in line with this leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reach for the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Janu Shirshasana pose. Bringing our awareness now right into the center of the forehead. This is called Brumaria Drishti. Keeping the left leg strong, nice and engaged, toes flex back. Right knee, really trying to root its way down into the earth. One more, long breath. Exhale, rising all the way up. Lengthening the right leg out, bending the left knee, foot right inside the thigh. Torso in line with this front leg, toes flex back, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Front toes flex back, thigh stays strong. Reach forward with the heart, lengthening the spine. Right leg is engaged. Left knee pressing towards the earth. One more, long breath here. Exhale, rising up, releasing the legs out to the front. 
bending the knees so both knees go out to the side. Soles of the feet kiss. Maybe a tiny space in between the heels and your torso. And we take the thumbs and we place them inside the soles of the feet. Other fingers wrap around the top of the foot. And now open the feet, almost like you're reading a book here. Lifting through the heart, extending up through the top of the head. Very good. This is called Baddha Konasana. Option one, we can stay here, trying to bring the knees down towards the earth. If we'd like to take it a little further, we lengthen through the body, extending forward, reaching the crown of the head forward, then bringing the torso as close to the earth as we can. We can use these elbows pressing down into the thighs, really helping keeping those knees down towards the earth. Keeping our breath long and smooth. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up, releasing the legs out to the front, giving them a nice little shake, a nice little wiggle, releasing any tension. Right knee bends, right sole of the foot inside the thigh, front toes flex back to the face. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching forward inside the thigh, inside that front foot. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we bend that right arm around the shin, reaching behind our back. Maybe we can clasp the hands or grabbing our shirt. With an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold, reaching the heart towards the toes. This is called Mari Chasana Pose. Front toes flex back, reaching forward, belly strong. You don't want to drop the head here. Keep reaching through the crown of the head, keeping a nice straight line of energy from the tailbone all the way through the spine out the crown of the head. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising up, releasing right leg out to the front. Left knee bends, left sole of the foot, Inside, small space between the thigh and the foot, front toes flex back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching forward, staying here, first option. Hands inside the front foot. Second option, we reach around the left shin. We clasp the hands or just grab our shirt. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Reaching forward. Trying to lengthen the body. Right toes flexing back. Breath is smooth. Feel the hips rooting down. Remember, ground into the earth. Then use the breath. Find optimal position inside the body. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Rising all the way up. Releasing the leg out to the front. Very nice. Maybe giving the legs a little wiggle, releasing that tension. Palms in line with our hips, bending the knees, floating the shins off our mat. Option one, we stay here with the hands underneath the knees. Option two, hands in line with the shins. Option three, that spicy version, we lengthen the legs. This is called Navasana Boat Pose. Lifting up through the heart, keeping the spine straight, belly tucks in, thighs engage. Very good. Big breath in. Exhale, crossing at the shins, knees to the heart, hands by our side, picking up or pressing down. Here we go, number two. Navasana, boat pose. Belly strong. Keep the legs engaged. Awareness on the breath. Heart opens. Very good. Lifting the heart. Big breath in. Exhale.
exhale, crossing at the shins, knees to the heart, hands by our side, picking up or pressing down. Last one. Here we go. Very good. Long spine, reaching the shoulders out to the side. Smile on the face, so important. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly lower with the muscles in the belly all the way down to your mat. Ooh, bending the knees, soles of the feet right in line with the hips, setting up for our bridge pose, hands by our side. You should be able to tickle those heels. Press down into the hands, into the feet, hips lift up towards the sky. Bridge pose. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we roll one shoulder at a time behind the back, clasping the hands, lifting up through the heart, keeping a nice long neck, natural curve, chin away from the chest. As you root through the feet, inner thighs gently roll towards the center. Big breath. Exhale, release the hands. Roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Letting that spine naturally relax down. Before we move, we connect the spine into the mat. Extending the legs out to the front. Bringing the palms down by the side. Engage the belly, press through the palms, float the feet up towards the sky. As you press down through the arms, lift the hips, bringing the toes up and back over the head, setting up for our plow pose. Option one, we stay here. Option two, maybe we roll one shoulder at a time, clasping our hands, keeping those toes as close as we can towards the earth, but keeping space in between our chest and chin. Keeping the breath long and smooth. One more. Bringing our elbows down to the earth. Bringing the palms right on either side of the spine, right above the hips. And as we gently lift the legs, support the hips with the palms as we come into our shoulder stand pose. Breathing deep. Trying the best we can to stack the feet over the knees, knees over the hips, and hips over the shoulders. We want to keep, though, that nice long spine. Remember, we don't want to hurt the neck. We gaze up towards the feet and we keep the chin away from the chest. Belly stays strong. One more breath here. Exhale, floating the feet behind us. And this time we bend the knees outside of the head. And then we can gently give the head a little squeeze. This is called ear pressure pose. Not too much pressure though. <laughs> One more. Inhale. Exhale. Palms come down. Extend the legs. Use the muscles in the body to gently roll down one vertebrae at a time. Slowly bringing the spine all the way down. When we get to the lower back, if there's any pain, we can bend the knees or we keep the legs straight, keeping our belly strong, really trying to root that lower back down into the mat. Slowly floating the legs down. Very good. Lifting the knees up towards the heart. Arms wrap around the shin. Nice little ball here. Maybe that forehead kisses the tops of our knees. And then we keep both knees together and we float the legs over to the right side as the arms come down at a T. 
Little modified supine twist here. Shoulders connect down. Breathe length through the spine. Can you feel the earth? Can you root down, almost feel a grounding sensation? And then let the breath move that body, let it expand. Feel any sensations. Remember that awareness of our body is so important. It reminds us of the gift of this moment, the only moment that matters. As you press down through the palms, float the knees right back up to the heart center. Arms wrap around the shins, forehead gently touching the knees. We bring the spine back down, arms at a T, float the knees over to the left. Every breath, a chance to expand, every exhale, a chance to surrender. We let go into the breath. We let go into the body, sinking all the way down. Knees coming back up to heart center. Wrap the arms around the shins. Nice little ball here. We take a big inhale, fill the body all the way to the top. At the very top, you hold the breath. Create space. This is called kumbhaka. We're holding our breath. Now can you squeeze every muscle in the body? Squeeze the muscles in the toes, in the fingers, our arms, our face. Everything is strong as we hold the breath for three, four, two. For one, and release. Lengthening the legs out to the front, palms down by our side, letting them face up. We close the eyes. As we come into our last, our most important asana here today, I want you to start by letting go. We let go of the control of the breath. We let go of the control of our body here today. Letting everything return to its natural, its calm state. Imagining your little stone that's tossed into a river. As you sink down, you feel and notice yourself swaying gently from side to side, not fighting the water, just flowing with it as we flow with our breath. As you sink deeper, you poof land on the sand, your body now getting a little heavier, sinking it down into your mat, making this time here and this moment, it's all about you, with a calm body and a calm mind. Shivasana.
starting to take deeper breaths. Breathing life back into our body. Gently wiggling the fingers, the toes, inviting that movement slowly back into our muscles. Reaching the arms up and overhead, my morning stretch, lengthening through the toes, through the fingers. Now gently lifting the knees up towards the heart as we roll over to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arm. We close the eyes, keeping that awareness inside, and we come into a moment of gratitude. So important. First, tell yourself, tell yourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my body. Telling ourself, thank you for taking the time today to do something that was good for my mind. And then, then can you think about Two things in your life, two things today that you are just truly, truly grateful for. When you're ready, keeping our eyes closed, that awareness inside slowly begin to make your way back up. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Eyes staying closed, awareness inside, connecting the thumb and index finger together, palms face down on the knees. So nice, it roots the energy down, connects us a little more into the earth. Let's take one cycle of breath here. Bringing the palms to kiss, holding them heart center, Anjali Mudra. I'll leave you guys with a little quote today. One of my favorite quotes from the late Wayne Dyer. When we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Let's seal our practice together. The nice universal sound of Om and three shanties for peace. Feel free to clear your throat. Taking a nice big inhale for Om. Shanti. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you all for watching this video here today. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Once the studio opens back up, I teach Tuesdays and Thursdays Mission Beach Yoga down in La Jolla Cove as well. I hope to see you in one of my practices. Have a wonderful rest of your day.